It's the backside of the two-game weekend in Sunbelt Conference women's college basketball. The Eagles of Georgia Southern and the Trojans of Troy. But it is what it is. We'll get it done. Here's your first, second turnover of the game. Nice move by Karanga down low. Corner three in the air, and Tia Johnson buries it. Hamilton knocked that three down. Nice feed off the rebound. Down to Tasia Moore, who converts for Troy. Yet another turnover. Pull up from the free throw line, would not happen. Die with the putback, though, does. Emily Rosario into the game. She really played well last night as Alexis Dye knocks down the 17-footer from the elbow. Her team's gotten some good looks at the basket, but just hadn't been able to take care of the basketball. Nice move down low. That's Karanga right at the rim. Troy sprinting up the floor. Nice feed to Dye. Long one drops beautifully for Tia Johnson. That jumper wouldn't go down, and Troy has a four on two. And Janiya Ellis took it all herself. On the Trojans bringing the ball up the floor. There's a three, though, dropped in by Sandiford. That is her spot on the floor. There should be an X right there. And it is a six-point game. It was a 20-point game. In the third quarter, driving to the bucket though, Johnson adds to the Troy advantage. Because this has been, and there it is. You see the play by Jasmine Robinson drew the contact going to the basket. It gave it back to Troy. Let's see how both teams continue to respond to that. I know how Jasmine Robinson is responding. Five straight. All Inbounds, got it down there low. Johnson knocked it in. There's the long three. Robinson now with eight in a row for Troy, and the lead is nine. That one to the bucket wouldn't go, but what about Karanga's effort? Missed the first one, but got that one in. That's Felmas Karanga. That could be a huge play in the game. And here's another turnover, layup good. That's four in a row, and it was sparked by the effort of Felmas Karanga. Running shot clock down. To the bucket, 